Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial from the dynamic modeling of cities um, class and today's tutorial will be about um, creating a walkthrough animation using 3ds max so let's get started so these are the steps that we'll be taking today we'll look at how to set up the cameras um, and set up the path for the walkthrough for today's tutorial we'll be using the um, sitemap of Footscray that we've created from the previous video um, to demonstrate how to create a quick walkthrough animation. We will try and create an animation where it covers up the site to show the train line for example. You can do it with any file you want of course to create your animation but for today we'll use this as the example. So the first thing you want to do is to create a path for the camera and the way to do that is you go to create, you go to shapes and you click on the line and start to create your pathway. Make sure you select smooth um, to create a smoother spline and then press escape when done now we've got our path um, roughly there and if you want to make any edits to um, the spline you can go to modify and under selection click on vertex click on the points and move them around but for now, let's um, create the camera. And the way to do that is you go to animation, walk through assistant, and you want to go under the time configuration and change the frames into into 600 or any any desired length. We want to create targeted camera, create a new camera and then we want to select the path or pick path and select that spline and here you go now we have the camera path the next thing you want to do is you want to check if the path works so press alt w to to open up the other viewports and in one of the viewports change the um, perspective into cameras and choose the camera we just created and with the slider underneath just move it around to see um, how smooth or if you want to change the um, camera angle or position and i just need to maybe add this a little bit and then the end maybe something like that could be a little bit closer yep that should be good for now um, to test the scene and click Alt W again and press the play button, play animation at the bottom. And then, yeah, once you're happy with it, th this should be ready for the next step. Now here you go, and that's how you create a um, quick animation of um, quick animation in 3ds Max. Your next step would be to to export it or render it, whether you use um, V-Ray or Arnold or any other desired renderer. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.